Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're taking a look at Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7, more specifically the Siege of Mandalore story arc that rounded out the series. This particular figure comes to us from the Galaxy of Adventures line from Hasbro, which some of you may know is a 5 inch scale animated style line of figures which features some really, really cool characters. Uh, I'm a partial advocate for this line in the sense that certain figures that have been made are really, really good. Boba Fett in particular springs to mind. That was a figure that I picked up and gave you guys a look at over the last few months. Um, other figures have been revealed in this line or released in this line, such as Ahsoka's Clone Trooper, which we'll be taking a look at in my next review, that again have just blown me away and really, really impressed me. However, other figures in the line, such as Darth Vader, not so great. Um, there are good figures in this line, there are bad figures in this line, so even if you're not all in on it, there are certain aspects of this line itself that will probably appeal to you in some way, shape or form. Um, Ahsoka Tano and her clone trooper were two of the figures that I really wanted to get from this series and I'm really glad that I did. Um, unfortunately, there hasn't been any official word on a UK release date for these figures just yet. So I did have to resort to paying a little bit more for these figures than I wanted to on eBay. But they were more than worth it. These figures are really, really cool. And we're going to take a look at them in more detail over the course of my next few reviews. So with that in mind, before we jump into this review, let's take a look at the package Ahsoka comes in. And then we'll run through all the details of the figure itself. So once again, we do get this really nice animated style packaging for this figure. I really like the Galaxy of Adventures packaging, particularly with the second, third and fourth waves. Um, the Rise of Skywalker packaging design didn't really appeal to me that much. It was black, it was boring, it was, I don't know, there was just something about it that didn't quite tick the box for me um, but this one really really nice I love the bright colours I love the animated imagery on the box itself um, it's got this real comic book vibe to it which I just really really like and in that respect these work really really well as in box pieces um, so if you don't want to open your action figures they display really well mint on the card now what's also really cool about this packaging is that like the new Black Series 6 inch packaging, it is 100% recyclable in the sense that you can just slip out the plastic tray that the figure sits in and then separate the cardboard and the plastic and recycle them individually which is always a good thing in my book. So as you can see we do have an image of Ahsoka Tano there on the front of the box, the call out there is for the uh, action feature that she has which is a double lightsaber swipe and that is pictured down the side of the box as to how to uh, activate that feature. Down the other side we have some other figures available in the Galaxy of Adventures line. As I mentioned Ahsoka's clone trooper will be the subject of my next review. Boba Fett we've already taken a look at in a previous video. We have the Sith Jet Trooper and Yoda which is another figure that I've picked up and is a really great addition to this collection. On the back there's no description for the character but we do have that animated image once again and again overall really really do like the packaging for these figures if i didn't have to pay so much for them via ebay i'd have definitely picked up two and kept one in the box but with that being said great packaging the figure inside is even better so let's take a look at her now and here she is once again this is a great figure and in many ways at least in my opinion it far surpasses the black series six inch scale action figure of ahsoka from the clone wars in terms of detail and overall execution there were some particular issues with that black series six inch figure in terms of screen accuracy you know the gauntlets and the boots weren't particularly accurate to how the character was portrayed in those final episodes of the clone wars um, and there were just a, a couple of other bits and pieces about the figure that felt slightly off. This one is really, really good. Um, I'm not sure whether it's because it's been designed in an animated style that is more fitting with the Clone Wars animated series or not, but it just looks really, really cool. And if it wasn't for the scale, I'd have definitely picked this one up, as opposed to the Black Series version, to fit in with my 6-inch collection, because the details and the overall sculpt and just general look and feel of the figure are really, really good. I love the facial sculpt. I think it looks fantastic. The detail is incredible. You've got some really, really nice detail going on in the eyes there, which despite this figure being an animated style character, you've still got elements of that photoreal face printing technology going on, which is really, really cool and helps to add a lot of depth and character 
to the figure itself. Obviously, you've got a circus famous facial tattoos or facial prints there as well. You've got the Montrols, which look really, really cool. Nice, sharp paint applications on those. The colour of the costume is really nice. Highly saturated in comparison to the Black Series 6 inch figure. And again, all those details in the costume have been translated really, really well into action figure form. So you've got those silver highlights on the tunic there. The heavy influence of the Mandalorian armour in the chest piece. Great detail in the boots there as well. A couple of different shades going on. Same can be said for the gauntlets. They look really cool. It's just overall a great looking figure. I'm really, really impressed with this one. Very glad that I got it. Now, in terms of accessories, she does come with her two lightsabers. These are, of course, the lightsabers that Anakin kept hold of after she left the Jedi Order and updated to feature blue blades. These are really nice and thick blades, nice and substantial. No worry there of damaging those or snapping them like you would with a 3 and 3 quarter inch or Black Series 6 inch figure. They're a lot bulkier, a lot chunkier, which is really good. And she holds those lightsabers really, really well. Obviously, she's got the, the Shoto blade there and the regular lightsaber in the other hand. And she looks really, really cool holding those. Really nice indeed. And then despite this figure not being a Black Series or Vintage Collection figure, the articulation that Hasbro have put into this one, especially for the recommended retail price point, is really, really good. The articulation on these, while it isn't Black Series level, it certainly is not to be sniffed at and definitely can compete with the Black Series from a posability standpoint. We do have a ball joint at the head. Obviously the Montrols do restrict a little bit of movement, but nothing too major. She just can't really look up or down, but from side to side, she's really fine. She has hinges at the shoulders, elbows, and swivels at the wrists. We have a spring-loaded swivel at the waist, which plays into the action feature she comes with. We'll touch base on that in just a sec. We also have ball hinges at the hips. Great addition. A hinge at the knee, and a hinge and a rocker at the ankle. So again, great articulation. That certainly can rival some of the earlier Black Series 6 inch figures at least. Really, really nice in that respect. Now, as I mentioned, she does come with a spring loaded waist, and that plays into the action feature that this figure has. Now, most of these Galaxy of Adventures figures do come with play features in the form of firing missiles, uh, spring loaded, you know, lightsaber swings, all that sort of stuff. And while I don't really find these necessary, I suppose for the audience that these figures are aimed at, it's fine. Um, and it doesn't hinder articulation at all, um, particularly with this figure. Even though it's spring-loaded, you know you can turn it far enough that it clicks and stays in place. But uh, essentially what that spring-loaded waist allows you to do is twist the figure around, release it, and she swings around. It's a little bit lame. you know. It's very 90s um, in its functionality. But it's fine. It's not a problem at all. Again, if you're picking this figure up, like I did, you're probably buying it for the aesthetic more than the playability. But just a really, really welcome addition to the line. I'm really impressed with this one. Really happy that I was able to add it to the collection, and I can't recommend it enough. Great, great figure in its own right. So there she is. That is a Sokotano. So I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure guys. Once again it's from the Galaxy of Adventures line by Hasbro and it's a great addition to the collection. If you're an Ahsoka Tano fan this is a must have. Um, you know it's by no means as good as a 6 inch black series or 3 and 3 quarter inch vintage collection figure if you're a core collector of those lines. But as just something nice and cool to add to the collection it ticks all the boxes and I'm more than impressed with this one. And I can't wait to share more figures from this line with you in future reviews. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more very soon. As I mentioned, we're going to take a look at Ahsoka's Clone Trooper in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Keep collecting and may the force be with you.